What's up, world? This your boy, Money Moves, with your boy, MIMP 2.0, where we teach you guys how to be financially great at every chance we get, giving you a little piece of knowledge with every video. Um, if you guys want to, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you guys don't hit it, it ain't a big deal. Um, but please thumbs up the video. And today, we're going to be talking about good debt versus bad debt okay so everybody knows that you can use you heard them talking about uh elon musk leverages debt he don't really touch his touch his money he uses debt to invest into things like so he, elon musk got 70 million dollars he's not going to use his own 70 million dollars he's going to go and get a loan for 70 million dollars you know what i'm saying so that would be good debt and he's going to invest that debt into an asset you know what i'm saying but the difference between good debt and bad debt would be uh bills uh getting behind on rent uh you don't want to use your credit card or your loans that the bank gives you for personal things. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that makes a bad debt. You know what I'm saying? If you're using your money for personal things, like the new iPhone, if you're not going, if you're not a YouTube creator and you not, you don't need the iPhone for business purposes or something like that, then that would be bad debt. You know what I'm saying? If you got a loan and you're getting a loan for a new house, you know what I'm saying? You're getting a mortgage loan for a new house or a car. If that car, that house is not going to bring no money into your pockets, that's bad debt. And, um, so the difference between good debt and bad debt is that you can leverage your debt. You could go into debt and leverage your debt. So... It'll be a difference if you was to get a mortgage loan on a property and then you was going to rent it out, you know what I'm saying, or you had a multi-unit um, property that you got a mortgage loan on and you were just going to rent out different apartments. So that's going to bring, that's going to make it an asset because you're going to still take home more money than what you got to pay back the bank in a month, you know what I'm saying. So you don't really have to work to pay back your mortgage. So a lot of people get into the bad debt category where they got to, um, um, they got to, they go get a house. They don't have money saved up. They get a mortgage loan on the house and they got to go and pay that back, pay that back. They got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? So that's where you become a slave to your own debt. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be a slave to your debt. And it's the same thing with credit cards. You could be a slave to your debt with credit card. You're going to buy the new purse. You're going to buy the new watch. You're going to go buy the new phones. Um, you're buying things that doesn't absolutely have value. The value of the items you're buying depreciates. You know what I'm saying? So that would be another idea of bad debt. Uh, another thing that could be bad debt is, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you get a loan on a car from the bank. You got to pay that back. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not trying to work for 48 to 60 months to pay that car back, then you're going to be in a financial bind trying to figure out you're going to end up losing the car, getting it repossessed, and then that debt's going to actually have a negative impact on your credit as well. But I'm going to give you guys the hardcore game on how to use debt. So instead of using... So you got a 1000 dollar or five thousand dollar credit limit on your card you know what i'm saying so what you want to do is the smart thing that any investor will want to do is turn that credit into hard into money you know what i'm saying you want to let that credit work for you so if you got a little store or you or you or you stay in the neighborhood where there's not no stores closed and a lot of people know you you can buy literally cases of water and a thousand percent like like double your money triple quadruple to an infinite infinite you can infinite sign your profits you know so instead of just going and waste that money and now you got the money to go buy your new clothes your new iphone and whatever else you want to buy and stuff like that so 
You can use debt. You can use other people's debt to become financially stable. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into all that using other people's mortgage loans and making money off other people's debt that they got into. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to get a mortgage loan, you won't, you do not want to get a mortgage loan if you if you're deciding not to work for the rest of your life. Because most mortgage loans, you you have to pay for those for 20 to 30 plus years. Um and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't want to be working for 20 or 30 plus years. You don't want to end up paying more than what the loan is worth because you're not paying the amount that you're supposed to pay plus extra on top of that. Most people want to travel. Most people want to see the world. Nobody don't want to dedicate themselves to a job for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? So that's good debt. So another phrase of having good debt is uh, with your car loans. The only way I would get a car loan, you know what I'm saying? If I needed a truck or something like this and I had tools and it was going to help me make money, you know what I'm saying? I was planning on working for the next three to five years to pay this loan off. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I would get into that. You know what I'm saying? Like a car, you're going to drive Lyft, Uber, um, or something like that. Or your money, your car is going to bring some type of money into into the game, into, into, and, and, into what we're doing, what we're talking about here, guys. But guys, uh, guys got to know the difference between good debt and bad debt. And we're going to get into bad debt and good debt more and more in, in upcoming videos. So I'm going to get that's all I got for you guys today because we're all beginners here. None of us is professionals or anything like that. I'm on the same level as you guys. Um, so we're going to grow together. We're going to take, we're going to go through the basics. We're going to, we, we're going to acquire properties. We're going to get nice cars. We're going to travel the world. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, make sure you guys please. If you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that thumbs up bell. This your boy Money Moves with your boy Mel 2.0. We get another video. Thank you guys.